Hey guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see a question today. So today's question I'm taking up from the topic of probability. And we are continuing a series of questions on JW advanced. So continuing the series, we are taking up the concept of dice today from this topic. And the question says that four fair dice D1, D2, D3, D4, each of the dice having the outcomes from 1 to 6 are rolled simultaneously and we have been asked that when these four dice are rolled simultaneously, what is the probability that dice D4 has the outcomes which comes on the upper face of either of the dice that is D1, D2. So we have to find the probability that D4 has the outcome which comes on any other dice D1, D4 or D3. And we have been asked this probability. The four options given to us is 91 by 216, 108 by 216, 125 by 216, and the last option is 127 by 216. So let's understand how do we solve this type of questions. So to answer that question, first of all, if I talk about a die, one die is thrown. We have the outcome from 1 to 6. So basically, we have 6 outcomes there. If 2 dice are thrown or rolled simultaneously, you have the outcomes as we saw in the previous videos. 1, 1, 1, 2 till 1, 6. Likewise, it goes till 6, 6. So basically, you have 36 outcomes there. So I can write this 36 as squared. I can write this 6 as 6 raised to 1. So basically for n dice that are rolled simultaneously, the total possible outcomes that you get in this case is 6 raised to 10, right? So because we have rolled here 4 dice d1, d2, d3, d4, so if I talk about the total possible outcomes, so if I talk about all the 4 dice, let's say d1, Now D1 can have any one out of the six outcomes possible. D2 can also have any one out of the six possible. D3 also can have the same. D4 also can have the same. So total possible outcomes becomes six raised to. Now let's talk about the question which is asked to us that probability that D4 has any of the outcomes that comes on D1, D2 or D3. So if I want to find that, we know idea that total probability is equal to 1. So basically probability that dice D4 has the outcomes either from D1, D2 or D3. I can write that entire probability as equal to 1 minus the probability that dice D4 does not have the outcome as on the upper faces of D1, D2. Because it becomes easier for us to solve this. So now if I try to find this idea, let's find out this first. So if we solve this, we know it is nothing but favorable outcomes upon total possible outcomes. So if I find out total possible outcomes you already have with us, that is 6 raised to 1. If I talk about favorable outcomes here, so let's say I have 4 dice D1, D2, D3. Now to understand this idea, what I will do here is, for D4, that is dice D4, I can have any one out of the 6 outcomes possible. So D4 has all the 6 options possible. And what we need here is D4 should not have any of the outcomes that are present on the upper faces of D1, D2, and D3. 
so what i am understanding here is whatever comes on the upper face of d4 should not be present on the upper face of d1 d2 d3 so for example if i want to make you understand here let's say d4 when i throw a die and it comes out three on the upper face of d4 that three as the outcome should not come on the upper face of d1 d2 as well as d3 so d1 dies one has all the five options open apart from those that number 3 so it can contain any five numbers other than 3 on its upper face likewise d2 can also contain any one out of the five remaining outcomes and d3 also can contain any one out of the five remaining outcomes. so if i use that this six gets cancelled with this six i get here answer as 125 by 2 So this answer comes out for this probability, which is D4 does not have any of the outcomes that comes on dice D1, D2. Now let's calculate the question. What is asking for that probability that D dice D4 has any one out of the outcomes from D1, D2, or D3? So if I calculate that, it will be D4 has any one out of the outcomes of D3 dice. Is nothing but one minus the probability that is one twenty five by two hundred and sixteen. If I solve this further, you get two hundred and sixteen minus one twenty five by two hundred and sixteen, and that gives me the answer as twenty one by two hundred and sixteen. Or one hundred and sixteen. Get the answer as ninety one by two hundred and sixteen is the probability when the die is three four. Has any one out of the outcomes from die is three one day. So the correct answer for this question is A. I think one by one. I hope you have understood how to solve these questions on dies in terms of probability. So we just took the opposite idea. We found the probability for that, and doing one minus that probability gave us the probability of the question, which is much. I will meet you again tomorrow with the next question. Till then, you can like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Also, share these videos with your friends who are also involved in the preparation of JDT. Thanks. Thank you.